My name is Ying Miao and I'm a net artist based on yeah, yeah. the internet and the Qing internet and my smartphone. I'm trying to use new formats to make artworks including GIF format and apps and browser-based works. When people think of the word internet, they think of censorship. But a part of my work is showing how creative people can actually go around it and create new things. The earliest piece I made is called Blind Spot. It's basically just checking each word from a standard Chinese dictionary to google.cn. If the result shows it's censored, then I would erase the words on the dictionary. To me, as an artist, it's more like a personal you know, relationship with the censorship. It's like a really bad romantic relationship. I made the piece, Is It Me You're Looking For, where in the music video, the singer met this girl and she's blind and they're just kind of falling in love. Is it me you're for? So this blindness is kind of a metaphor, describes my relationship with the censorship. Now the Chinese internet became a really unique material. At Art Basel Hong Kong, I'm showing two pieces. One of them is inspired by people when they do hypnosis and they believe that your energy get you know, amplified from the pyramid. So what I did is that I put a smartphone on top of the pyramid. So maybe your smartphone is actually the amplifier. On the screen of the smartphone is a very tedious, slow-changing background in the shape of a standard app. Those hands were from the Apple official advertising, but I replaced the touch screen with artificial landscapes. And on the ground, there's real grass. The second piece is inspired by all those official advertising from Apple, which on the screen, it has a perfect reflection. I copied all those advertisements in Photoshop, and I made them like 10 times bigger than the original iPhone screen. When you first look at them, you thought they're just black paintings, but it takes them a second to realize that it's actually the screen that they're looking at every day. I do really care about how technology changes our life in general. I